and up again. Hit the switch. That's five out of seven. Two to go. Send this one back up, and we need to reclose those gates. Don't forget to creep, because we got metal floor here. I think I'm across it now. Okay, he's gonna see me. I need to take the other exit, which is fine. Because it's pretty easy to sneak through the computer room. Until I'm sure I'm across the metal. Now, I'll do a real save. And we keep going. Well, that's trouble. I hope I can free him with a quick load. Okay. Things are much more complicated now. But we aren't defeated. Fear not. Oops. I thought the Watcher couldn't spot me on the ground floor. Learn something new every day. Let's head back through here. Oh, okay. Our door has disappeared. Which often happens at this spot. Let's wait until he's... Around the corner. And head over here. Take a left instead of a right. Now we're... I was gonna say, we're gonna have to put out these torches, which... sucks, but... that, uh... little bastard being stuck kinda takes away our options. Then I won't be able to get the quote scroll. Hmm. Hold on, let me see what I can do about that stupid little bot.
figures. Yeah, figures. Hmm. There's a first alert. I'm taking first alerts when dealing with glitches. But second alerts aren't an option. Gotta be a way to do it fast enough. There's a jump might do it. Stackables I can use to nudge it. That's too noisy. Sorry, I just feel like there's got to be a way to do this. Can't liberate it just by first alerting it, unfortunately. Cannot go the other direction. Fuck me. Let's see if he's already stuck on this thing. Yep. He 
is. Alright, well, I may just have to skip the quote scroll altogether. Sorry, folks. So I'm gonna have to use six water arrows to put out those torches. Which will mean... Which will mean I won't be able to disable any more bots. I guess I can... Well, no, you'll just have to do without the quote scroll, I'm afraid. out all those torches. I hate glitches! And they are all over this game. People say Thief 2 is their favorite. It blows my mind. They haven't settled from their first alert yet, if you're listening. Before I commit myself to this, let me see if maybe I can do it with only putting out one torch. I feel like that's the one that would have to go out. Well, let me see if I can... like no I have found no danger I have not determined no danger good I can still show you guys the quote scroll found no danger okay well that's good fucking glitches So here, I'll just show you. Here's the other side of where that damn spider is stuck. So for our purposes, scout the watcher. We want to head to that door on the left when it's turned away. Oh, I didn't realize it turned all the way around. That was stupid. But we can get there now. Yes, we can. Let's go visit Karis. Oh. He doesn't alert, so it doesn't, uh, bust the ghost. To go say hey to him. He's up this elevator. 
Although, <laughs> getting stuck inside the elevator can be a problem, but... Yeah, Karis doesn't alert. He's not a hostile. So, let's go say, what up, Karis? What's up, bro? Art thou not a thief? Then steal thyself away, Karis. <laughs> yes, <laughs> hurry now and steal thyself away from this most holy place ere the builder's children arrive again to smite thee certain this time. There's absolutely no way into his protective chamber. People have tried making... 15, 20 explosive charges, setting them all by his door and blowing them up. Nothing. So we need to get through this room, which is actually pretty easy. There are two watchers, but the lights blink on and off. So at some point when the lights are off, just sprint to the door. Got to do it a little faster than I did. Beautiful. So, I think they meant this to be more complicated than it is. Just watch the patrollers. You see that little opening on the left, not the red one, but the one past it? You can crouch and jump right through that opening, which is what we're going to do. Nobody first alerted. And once you're through there, once you're through there, break left. Do the same thing with this hole. Jump. You have to jump and then crouch. Sorry, I said the order wrong. And head down this hall. Right through the door. Hit the switch. That's six out of seven. If you're wondering, we completely skipped the chapel full of spiders and the turret room past it because and the second golden child in this mission there's nothing back there we need and the stuck spider is absolutely preventing us from ghosting our way back there now don't hit this lever to close the passage you want to leave the passage open just back up from the lit up opening you should be fine to get to the other side. And then find the other lever. Hit it. Step out onto the metal and hit this button. Actually, you don't need to step out onto the metal. You can cross it after it moves. The easiest way through this room is to use hardcover to your advantage, so... Send the catwalk to the center, but not all the way across. He's still seeing me. Why did I try to make that move? Maybe 
guy should wait till he's headed the other way because he's very close to his turnaround. So there's a watcher through that archway to his right, so we don't want to mess with that. Good grief. So once you get across there, if you get right flush with one of these metal uh, partitions, it's a good hiding shadow. Wait till he's headed the other way, and I just get up and run in behind him. Up the elevator. We find the last tower switch. Now all that's left is to get out. But you may remember I need to Reclose the northern apps and reset the plans roof on my way out. I need to reset the walkway in this room and close those doors too. I have seen. How has he seen something? Okay, now that I'm here, I'm gonna wait for him to head the other way. Then cross this catwalk. Call it back to its starting spot. Oops. I have to hit this button to do that. Now slip back into this passage. Close that side. Close that side. Get out the way I came in. Someone was gonna spot me. So goes life. I know not why you oppose me in one act. I know not why you oppose me. In one act, I will end all human suffering and clear the path for the Builder to walk again on Earth. History will move forward. My tireless children will build in his name, creating... Good grief. I know not why you oppose me. In one act, I will end all human suffering and clear the path for the Builder to walk again on Earth. History will move forward. My tireless children will build in his name, creating advancements beyond our understanding. Now is the dark time before the days of light. Why dost thou oppose me? Okay, a watcher spotted me. So. I know not why you oppose me. In one act, I will end all human suffering and clear the path for the Builder to walk again on Earth. History will move forward. My tireless children will build in his name, creating advancements. Blah, blah, blah. I know not why you oppose me. 
in one act I will end all human suffering and clear the path for the builder to walk again on earth. History will move forward. My tireless children will build in his name, creating advancements beyond our I know not why you oppose me. In one act I will end all human suffering and clear the path for the builder to walk again on earth. History will move forward. My tireless children will build in his name, creating advancements beyond our understanding. All right. And we have arrived back at the plans room. I will now reset. First thing to do is to drop back down and reclose the northern apps. And tracking back over here, finding the switch. I need to get on the ladder. I need to get up as f high as I can. And then I'm going to have to hit the switch and rush up to get through the hatch before it closes. I need to hope that the mechanist didn't hear that. Not. Now let's get on my little stack of goodies. I may have to rebuild it, which is fine. But the mechanist will hear something solid like the signal bolt dropping to the ground. So let's just pick everything up, rebuild the stack one object at a time, the blueprints, the papyrus. And the signal bolt. Then let's mantle up. <gasps> Creep over here. Mantle up again. <gasps> Reclose the hatch. Drop all the way down. Oops. Nab this stuff, head down to this counter, replace the blueprints, replace the papyrus, head out to storage room 2. I think we're out of range, but it's always good to be careful. All right. He'll hear me open the door, so I'm going to wait for him to get clear. Replace the signal bolt. Back through the apps. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Back through the apps.
There you go. Good mantle. Okay, just about done now. Someone's on their way. Or maybe they're leaving. Headed the other way. Hard to know. Yes, there they go. I'll tail this mechanist all the way out to Bay A. Okay, the mech saw me. Mechanist, I mean. It's hard to have shorthand, because everything's a mech or a mechanist, and then the stats screen calls the robots beasts, but I don't feel like they should be called beasts, they're robots. Whatever. So I'm going to do a real save right here. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go after the quote scroll. So. Oops. Let me reload the real save. I would still prefer to manage this without any extra alerts. Obviously, you can't get the quote scroll if you're, uh, what's the word? Ghosting. So, so after I do it, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna reload and just leave the cathedral, but... Dang it. I'm having more trouble here than I thought I would. Spider right there. He's probably gonna alert when he sees the big body. Yep. I should offer thanks to you departing. Damn, I thought that was really good timing on that big guy, but there's another spider bot in there, not so. Of course, he moves faster than the spiders, so. Let's just take him down real fast. An error, an error. Fails to understand. Creation. I should offer thanks to your departing trickster woman, for to a she that warned me.
Okay, yeah, they're hearing me. I guess the bottom line is I'm gonna wait for the stupid spider to leave. Which means that getting my fifth beast is gonna be a lot harder. Now, this is the one I want. Damn it. Let's see, to let him build up more distance between himself and the spider. Shifting through the remnants of the Precursor's world, I found the tools the Builder had left for me. Why save these things when all else is gone? The Builder hath spoken to Karis, and imagine my joy when finally I did piece the puzzle together. How long did it wait for one such as me? One who could bring about the age when the Builder would walk again on Earth. Alright, he's in hunt mode right now, but... I don't really care, to be honest. Because we're going to have to reload to... Not do the quote scroll anyway. So, wait for him to leave, wait for this mechanist to leave, and make my way to Bay A. Of course, I think the big advantage I have now is, uh... Now Bay A really should just have my other two bots in it. Which is good. Hit a plant. Thought it would go through the plant. I am the Command me fully destroy them, and they do have to be these big combat bots. Spiders and the smaller bots won't cut it. So with that, let's put these three through the rolling machine. still have to use the steel plate.
when you put the fifth corpse through the machine. It spits out the quote scroll. Thief 2 quote list. Tim, I'm perfectly willing to screw the zombies for the patch. Randy, why cheese? Why not barrels or crates or something? Emil, the apples were too small. Randy, you can imagine the gruesome hack that we would have to do. Tim, yes, but we'd have to hire professionals to forgive us. Mark, regarding undercurrents of sexual tension between G and V, it's like medieval moonlighting. Emil, regarding a guard who saw him from far away. Oh man, he's been taking his beta carotene. Mark, to Matt, are you talking about monkeys again? Tim, remember, spelt backwards, that's Niga, not Naga. <laughs> Emil, see, he's limping because I shot him in the leg. Terry, so shoot him in the other leg. Mark, kill the chubby kid. Bill, he's more curvy than I thought. Terry, it's okay to have those feelings. Garrett, the city looks almost bearable from up here. Terry, God, what a cynic. Have a beer, Garrett. Mike C, I'm really excited about rain, snow, and falling rain. Randy, sounds like a James Taylor song. Alex, I can now drop a piece of cheese on the floor and mouse look through it. Pat, you have a cheese with mouse look? Alex, did the trickster get eaten? Emil, no, I'm going to I'm going to devour him later tonight in a drunken rage. Emil, regarding his wife's due date. The baby's in beta. Mike C, I just think it's fun to walk up behind Alex and hit him with a blackjack. Randy, exactly, it's social. A radio plays faintly in the next room. Terry, do you hear a radio playing faintly somewhere with a woman's voice? Emil, it's the voice of Victoria in your head. Tim, it's your muse. Terry, my muse isn't very helpful. I can't understand what she's saying. Randy, I like sunlight and all. I just don't like the hours it occurs in. <laughs> Dan K, I have a bunch of bugs for the programmers. That's my job to keep them from their families. Rob, once upon a time, not only would Dramed crash, but it would go out and kill your family afterwards. Mock, I thought we took out that code. Bug 701. Bore 13, 126, not attached to ball at hinges. Yes, there's nothing more boorish than not being attached at your hinges. Kevin C. I was confused. It worked exactly like I wanted it to, so I thought it must be broken. Terry. Are there any weird ramifications to me taking some mushrooms? Randy. Hold on, I have to add something to the quote list. Karis on the loudspeakers. Seest thou ever the circus, Garrett? Tis a most uncomely spectacle, with mischievous clowns and daring trapeze, and in the end, naught is ever built. Terry, well, if it looks good enough that you don't even notice there's nothing to do, that's a start. Tim, that's the kind of thing you want to put, kind of want to put on the quote list and kind of want to keep off. <laughs> Emil, you were trying to look up her skirt. Dan K. Well, I just wanted to see if it could be done. You have to throw the remote camera just right so it goes under their fizz models, but it slides too far and the noise alerts them and then they move around. It's really tough. Pat, are you beer claws? Dan K. Yes, have you been a good little programmer this year? Ho, ho, ho. Pat, yes, yes. Dan K. So when we put in two, we used to crash because three isn't there anymore, but now framed, which is four, is two. Alex, right. Dan K, so courier, which is five, is four? Alex, no, courier is three. Dan K, this is idiotic. Alex, but note that when you get to 12 and 13, they're actually 12 and 13. Dan K, right, but 16 is 14 and 15 is 11, so that's not actually helpful. Terry, what about mission 10, is that 10? Alex, no, it's eight, unless we shift everything up by a number, in which case it will be nine. Dan T, to Terry, liar, liar, plants on fire. Kevin C. Frog Beast, I choose you. Sarah. Really, when you think about it, our rating should be immature. Alex. It goes along with the bugs playtesters can't spell and designers can't spell. Randy. What, and programmers are some kind of spelling aces? What'd you take first prize at the spelling bee, programmer? Dan K. What are you gonna do? Go cry to Bill Farquhar? Dandy. Randy, pretending to be Alex. The other disciplines are picking on me. Alex to Randy. You know if you kill Emil, Emil with laughter, you get his bug list. Randy, you should try a game development cycle. It's about as unfulfilling as giving birth to twins. Laura, oh! Alex, what? Laura, my severed head is talking. Rob, quote list. Randy, I'm already on it. Alex, what is ping stim? Terry, come here and I'll show you. Emil, I'm falling behind on my quotes. I have to say something witty. Alex, it's very different. Tim, it's very different in what way? Alex, it's not the same. Rob, Randy, you have alarms in bank, right? Randy, yeah. Rob, how do you refer to an alarm system? Emil, ye old alarm system. 
Randy to box of cereal. The bee looks like a wizard with no pants on. Randy, you're very acute. Dan K, thank you. Rob, I think he wants to shag you. Randy, yes, thank you, Rob. Rob, oh. Alex to Tim, permit me to call you a filthy liar even though you are not lying. Terry, okay, tell me about the flies. Emil, well see, I've been in crunch and I haven't had time to bathe. <laughs> Tim, you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to go kiss my Gryan now. Bill, again? Tim, there's no problem that can't be solved with a dead body. Tim, yes, there's nothing like an amusing room brushing pun. And those things were nothing like amusing room brushing puns. Bill, no, that doesn't make me laugh, Steve. If it was someone else's problem, I might laugh. Emil, the bug said this object, Terry, won't sit down. Terry, okay, she's not an object. Randy, yeah, don't treat Terry like an object. Anyway... Not only is it a pain in the ass to get, but it's not even that funny. So, I was wrong, too. It doesn't actually increase our secret count. So, with that little excursion over with, we're just gonna sneak out right and proper. I like to get over right next to the machine. Slip out behind this patroller as he gives me a chance to do so. It's important to come from the left so you can avoid that same watcher that nailed us at the very start and just head out the doors. And that's it! gonna give us our stat screen there's all the objectives of course we busted we got spotted by the watcher at the very start it went yellow that's a ghost bus nothing we can do that was our only ghost bust of course and we were able to mostly supreme it we were able to put everything back the way we found it except because of a glitch we had to extinguish one torch and take first alerts from the stationary bot that we otherwise wouldn't have had to and the mechanist. Um, what else? We were able to make the guiding beacon with no supreme busts at all, which is nice. In the exploratory inventing workshop, we had to turn off the lights to get by the watcher, and we had to take a first alert coming out after turning on the tower. So that's two supreme busts. None on tower three. Took first alerts from the watcher above the water tanks, going to and from Tower 4, so that's a supreme bust. No busts at Tower 5. Like I said, getting around the glitch to get to Tower 6 and 7 required a bust. Uh, no busts getting to and from Tower 6 or to and from Tower 7. Uh, leaving Tower 7, we didn't have to take it, I just didn't hear it in time, so I did take a first alert from one of those bots. And... I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, there's Thief 2. Congratulations, everybody, we made it to the end. I'll put the ending up separately on the playlist, as always, and I will see you soon for Thief Deadly Shadows. Bye bye